Hey guys, <clears throat> so this is going to be um, the daily tea, and I'm just going to share with you the energies that I feel that are present, okay? And um, this is going to be something that I'm going to do daily, so if this reading doesn't resonate for you, uh, it may tomorrow, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's going on with you guys. What's going on? Let's see. Hope everybody's doing well. I have been kind of under the weather a little bit. All right, guys, let's see what's going on for today. All right. So first out is a five of wands. Feeling very defensive, very conflicted. Either this is, um, either this is like self-conflict, like mental conflict within yourself, or this is you involved with, um, one or more people that you know you're just trying to get gain a common ground with um to have your voice be heard and you know just kind of um compromise i feel like here with the five of wands in the page of wands this is being the initiator um, wanting to, to like rectify a situation here. Um, a lot of fire energy here, Leo, I feel, but this is like, you know, somebody realizing that, um, you know, things are just not working the way that they have been. Like it's not getting you anywhere. I feel like. Um, wanting to try something new, maybe um, approach the situation in a different way. I feel like also somebody is trying to get away with something. Like they, they really feel like, you know, even though they're trying hard to get their point across, I think they, they really know that their point is not a legitimate point is the way I feel with this. Like they're just trying to make you feel like, you know, something um, that you're doing is not correct. And I see you as, I see you as the page of coins actually. Um, Cause I feel like this is, this is somebody on the outside, but the page of coins showing up here is um, just realizing that there is, you, you realize that there there is more to life than bickering and going back and forth. Um, like there needs to be something solid and grounded that you can hold on to that, um, that is that is just better better for you better serving you it's like you you no longer want to argue and fight um that's not what floats your boat so it's like this person's kind of working against you in a sense you, you feel like you you are fighting a losing battle i feel like here even though you haven't given up I feel you giving up though, because it's like you're no longer willing to put in extreme effort towards something. You're very sincere and this person is, is not, I don't feel. You know, there, there's hope here though. There's hope that this person will change and come around to your way of thinking. Um, there, there's hope that, you know, they will stop being so, like, 
argumentative and just wanting to butt heads with you. It's like you just you just want. It's almost like can we just get along? Can we just get along? Can we all just get along? There's real love here, though. There's real love, but it's like there is um, like a lot of times you don't feel that from the conflict that that ensues between the two of you. It's like, and you feel like this person, like they think that you don't know that they really know that they're wrong, but you know. You know exactly what they're doing. Like you're on to them. But they think they're so smart that they are pulling something over your eyes, but they're not. They're not. But you're conflicted about letting this person go as well. You're conflicted about not allowing new love in. Because there's new love waiting for you. If you let go of this conflict and let go of, you know, trying to make things work with this person, there's new love available for you. This, you know, it's like there, if, if you go out with your friends, and this is what I strongly feel, if you go out with your friends or you go out with your family, you interact with people other than the person that you are so focused on, I feel like doors will open up for you. Doors will open up for you. Heaven will sing um, and allow new opportunities in. I feel like this person is taking this opportunity as well that you guys are not together to go out and just party and, you know, drink it up, live it up. And then if you guys come back together, you know, the excuse will be, oh, we weren't together, you know, something like that. And you don't know how they feel. And that's bothering you that's bothering you. You don't know how they feel and you also think that they're out um, doing exactly what they are doing. Now, whether they're involved in an intimate relationship, I mean, I, I, I can't say that. I don't see that, um, but it could possibly be for sure. But I think it's mostly you don't know what they're doing. You don't know how they feel and that's bothersome. That's bothersome for you. But, you know, you, you're insisting upon holding on to this person while also trying to shield yourself. Like, you, you, you're trying to shield your heart because you've already been hurt by this person. It's like a consistent thing or theme even that... Um, this person has hurt you time and time again. And so now you feel like the best thing for you, you know, to ensure your healing, to ensure that you get over this, is to hold on to your heart, to close yourself off. But I need for you not to close yourself off because there is love waiting for you. You're just going to, you're going to have to see clearly through it. You're going to have to see clearly through this person and realize what their scheme is because I kind of feel like it is like this scheme, like this game almost, game of chess for them to see, you know, they feel like they're winning. They feel like they're winning here. They really do. They like to go out and have fun a lot. They really do. And you're more grounded. You are more stable. Um, but they're all over the place. Their mind is constantly all over the place. Not in a, not in a, in a stable um, arena here. 
the person that you're dealing with. Of course, we have um, Leo, like I said. We have Cancer here, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn energy present in this reading, you guys. Okay? So this is your daily dish for December 4th, okay? Talk to you later.